You know, I create these mushroom spots for myself that, you know, I go somewhere, I pick, oh, okay, this is the spot, I'm going to come back here. And it's not that I can't find the mushrooms, I just can't find the spot. It's like something happens, I try and log it in my brain, here's a car park, that's where I was, and I come back a month later and it just doesn't exist. Something happens when you go into the forest, you, you start walking and you lose yourself and then you don't know where you are, and it's a wonderful experience. Oh, there you go. Oh, what? What did you find? Ah. Uh, ah, oh, look at that. There you go. That's Very one nice. of the belitus. Very nice. A little bit overgrown. That's quite firm. Oh, look at that. I'll probably use it for drying, eh? Or make a soup or something, right? Not one or the other. We'll see what yeah, we do it's with quite it. Nice and firm. All right, let's take it out. That's all nice edible mushroom in here. Doesn't look so nice well, right now. For, yeah, well, for drying, I mean, you slice it. <laughs> this is all we eat. All right, let's go find some more stuff. <laughs> Look at that. There All you right. go. What's this? You see this thing over here? Look at this. Right. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I'm going to take a quick picture of that, I think. Okay. Wow. They usually grow on the dead trees, which we yeah. have a definitely dead tree. But, um. Well, let's just take a couple for now. Yeah. Oh, smells and nice. And we'll go from there. All right. Yeah, carrying on. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we All go. Right. Yeah, there you go. Nice big parasol. Oh, wow. Oh, it's still pretty fresh. Yeah, let's take it. All right. Oh, nice. Let's get that. I can smell it here. <laughs> yeah, the stem we don't need anyway. So you know uh, the way you find out uh, when parasol is edible, because there's quite a few of those. You smell it. It's uh, supposed to smell like milk. Yeah and it get, gets and red when you if, touch them. If you move for mm -hmm. a second, nice. where are you? Oh, there you ah, go. There's some bluets over here, look. Yeah. Here we go, Morris. There's quite a few of them. Oh, oh these are lovely and fresh. Yeah, yeah, very. There we go. Look at these, lovely. Yeah, the colour, huh? Yeah, the colour's Same. really nice. There's a parasol here, here we go. There's a baby one there, but there's no point picking it because yeah, it's, it's just, just a really bit small. A couple of days too early, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the first five, ten minutes, you don't see any mushrooms, literally. And then your eyes somehow, they adjust to it. And, uh, you know, you just pick the shape, uh, color, because, you know, it's thousands of leaves which uh, look similar. But somehow, after a while, you literally just see only mushrooms. Nice and fresh. Puffball. <laughs> oh, I got this guy. So look, you got oh, it. What did you get there? Yeah, another just, just this one. Just another bullet. That's uh, good for drying, oh, isn't it? We can dry that. Yeah, yeah very nice. That. All right. Wow. There you go. Tiny one. Very good for marinating. Beautiful. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. Here we go, finally. Cauliflower fungus. Cauliflower fungus. So, uh, still nice and firm. Um, oh, wow, look at the roots. There we go. That's a couple of kilos, no? Huh? Must be at least. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're just going to hold that right now because <laughs> it's too delicate. Yeah. You know, sometimes 
sometimes, Morris, it's all about the kind of the mythology of finding mushrooms, where you think you're going to find them, and you kind of end up finding them where you you didn't think you were going to oh, find exactly, them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You think it's damp out, so it's a, you know it's a good day for mushroom picking. And, and then you, then go, you go out on a sunny day and you find a load of mushrooms. Yeah, that's true. Really, yeah, like these um, parasol, uh, which we just found. That you normally find in a very dark, ugly, rubbishy forest, isn't it? Cut a piece of this and make like a nice kebabs. Smell the cumin I made at home. You mean you, you, you roasted it? Yeah, yeah I roasted it myself. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's how it's done, eh? And the vino. Now there we go. Put the shallots now in. All right, we are cooking. Grating garlic, probably a bit too much. Never too much garlic, I guess. Coriander in there. Squeeze of lemon. And we're going to mix that up. Where's that cumin you got Where is the cumin that I roasted myself at home? It, it's here. Yeah, it is here, yeah. <laughs> nice. so my mum used to do that, and then you, you can't go buy cumin anymore. Because, you know, you've innately learned how to do something, and... I say we make a couple of rosties with some sautéed mushrooms on top. Boom. Why not? Set. you got to be set. Set on the sourdough. You want to do a little... Oh, we can do a little bit of Set on sourdough, okay. Just we'll cut it straight, no? A um, bit of olive oil. Oh, we just got no customers. That's our only problem, I think. We might have to throw a few oysters on. Oh, we're going to do a bit of aubergine on those things, no? Yeah. We've got the aubergine. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, that tomato with the chili. Mm -hmm. Lemon mushroom. Oh, that's lovely. So what are we doing? We're having a little barbecue. Just making a bit of few mushrooms, artichokes. See how it all comes out. potatoes in. Yeah. This is how my mum would do it, you know. Okay, so we got a Polish, uh, a Polish uh, mushroom, mushroom soup, soup here. Yeah. All right, some winter chanterelles, a couple of these baby bluets. We got winter chanterelles, we got some bolitas in there, we got some wood bluets. We just call it a uh, soup of the day. You didn't put any garlic. You did put garlic did put in. Garlic yeah, you did. You did. You put crushed. Any other chef would tell you, like, like, it would just give you a dirty look when you ask that question, you know? Did you put garlic in? <laughs> but Morris is kind enough to say, yes, I did. And I choose the 
steak. Mm -hmm. All right, you're making me one, chef, then? Let me so I make my own. A little bit of sauce. That is really nice, Charlie. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Yeah, well, it's better than grass, I guess. Yeah. A natural aphrodisiac. Now I'm in the mood for some action. <laughs> <laughs> What else? A bit of black pepper. I probably would have put chilies in it in at this point. <laughs> it's also what you do when you when you cook mushrooms and you too, saute too much, you drain all the moisture from the inside. If you sear it. They just kind of sort of tense inside. But you want to draw the moisture out to some degree. On, it depends on the mushroom, I guess, you know. Yeah, well, that time we were cooking those saffron milk caps, you must have pan fried them for like 20 minutes to literally... Everything goes, yeah. Oh, how amazing was that, eh? What's that, chef? Is it that? Then you do this. Is that some old medicine thing you're going to rub on your body now or something? Mm. Ah, oh, very nice. Garlic bread. Have a bit of that on top. Okay. And this is called Fresh Seps with Rocket on Toast. And that tastes like Mushroom Festival at the gate restaurant. It's just so lovely and soft, you know, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. And it just goes down like almost like baby food, even though it doesn't look like it. But it's yeah. just soft is the word I've got in my mouth from my mouth right now. It just it's just so lovely in the mouth and delicate. Well, let's have a small bowl and let's have a let's have a try. All right, look at that. Mm. Like for winter, like a nice broth, basically. Yeah, uh, broth, nice broth, winter, winter broth, broth with yeah. mushrooms and veg. And in some ways, having the mushrooms whole gives it a bit more um, texture. Well, yeah, that's, I guess that's the, that's the idea. I mean, that's, that's literally like my mum would cook this. 